Every year, Apple improves on its iPhone and iPhone photography to the point where it almost looks like a professional camera. The real question is, can you replace your professional camera with an iPhone? Today, we're gonna to be testing out the iPhone 15 Pro versus my X-T5, a 45 megapixel iPhone versus a 40 megapixel professional camera. Who do you think will win? Now, for this test, I'm gonna be using the one times camera on the iPhone. It's the only one that's giving us the full 48 megapixels. Now, the closest lens I have to match that is my 16 f1.4. So that's what I'm gonna be rocking on the X-T5. If you're not familiar with the X-T5 as well, it is an APS-C camera, one of the top level Fujifilm cameras, and it's what I use for wedding photography. So I know this camera like the back of my hand. I think this is gonna be a good matchup. I'm gonna be shooting everything in raw, editing everything with my preset, which you can check out in the description below, and let's see what kind of results we get. And get like right up on the edge of that so I'm starting this session out with just a simple iPhone shot to get used to shooting with an iPhone. I don't normally do this. Usually I have a professional camera in my hand, but honestly, the raw files coming out of the iPhone look great. They hold up well, and I'm able to edit them the same way I do my professional wedding photos. Honestly, if y'all like to see me do something crazy like shoot a whole wedding or an engagement session or a bridal session on an iPhone, please make sure to like and share this video so I'll have incentive to actually make a video that crazy. Could you imagine shooting a wedding with an iPhone? <laughs> Perfect, hold that for me. Stand up here kind of right in the middle. Um, turn to the side and kind of look over to me. Now, one of the more obvious differences we're seeing between my X-T5 and the iPhone is the depth of field. Now, clearly the sensor size is making the difference there, but the iPhone tends to be very sharp. I feel like if I wanted to actually match that on my X-T5, I would have had to stop down to like F4 or something of that sort. Actually, I like the two hands up, just like that, yeah. Hold it. Turn your back towards me. Yep, and you'll be kind of looking over your shoulder a little bit. You can bring that hand down almost like if you want to put it in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Yeah, and just hold that for me. Shots like these are personally where I think the iPhone shine the best. Something nice and wide. The shots just look really, really good. And I feel like they can almost stand up to a professional camera. So you may have heard Apple talking about how they have seven different cameras on the phone, but really it's just three and they're cropping in. So one thing you may have noticed, the reason I'm only using the one times camera is because the moment you go to the 28 or 35 mil, you're cropping in and you only get the 24 megapixels. I wanna get the full 48 to see how it really looks on the camera versus my X-T5. So we're shooting wide today, which it's super wide for portraits, but it's really fun to get some cool new perspectives. Also, if you're not familiar, the phone can now shoot in ProRes Log 4K60, which is just mind-blowing that the iPhone can do that. Just keep in mind that if you wanna try this at home, you have to be shooting with an external hard drive or SD card hooked up to your iPhone, which is easy to do now that it has USB-C. Basically, if you put it into ProRes and 4K60, you have to have a hard drive or it will tell you that you can't do it. So we're comparing that as well with the X-T5 because it also can do 4K60. So I'm curious to see how it looks. Let me know in the comments what you think about all of the video footage.
Honestly, Apple Log looks amazing. And these video files are something that I would actually use in my YouTube videos. Now, again, I'm not a filmmaker, so I'm not looking for the most perfect video, but as far as being able to use something and grade it and make it look great, also with great stability built into the iPhone, this is something that anyone can get started in making videos for themselves and getting a more professional look. Obviously, we're missing a little bit of depth of field, but again, if you're doing wide shots, the iPhone is gonna be great with the 4K60 in log. Yeah, let's let's do a sitting shot, maybe like four steps up. I want to almost do like a. Uh, could you handle like? Just don't move. <laughs> yep, hold that. Actually, were you trying to bring your leg up? Was that weird for you? Yeah. No, I think it looks fine. As long as it's not weird for you. Yeah. So one of the biggest questions that comes up is as a beginner, can I use my iPhone to learn photography? And while an iPhone will never take the place of a professional camera, I do think the way that iPhones are working nowadays is a great place to start. Obviously, you're gonna need to use something more than just the built-in photo and camera app. And you also need to learn things like using Lightroom or Lightroom Classic to really edit and back up your photos. Shout out to my Lightroom course as well if you wanna learn more about that. But the raw files, hold up extremely well and because of this i think this is a great starting place for a lot of photographers to learn more about composition and light let's actually do something on the wall try to go back though like right before that little window cut out yep keep folding it for me So I'm trying my best to match the iPhone with my camera, but the thing I'm struggling with the most is the fact that the phone shoots in 4x3, kind of like a medium format camera, versus on my normal camera that's shooting in 2x3. So you're seeing the photos cropped, but yeah, matching it up is kind of hard. <laughs> on top of the aspect ratios being different, the iPhone tend to always be warm. And now clearly I can fix that in post, but generally you wanna do that while you're taking your photos. Now, if I was using an app like the Moment app, I would be able to dial in all my settings and actually change my white balance a little bit easier. So if you're looking to use an iPhone as a professional camera or to get started, I would highly recommend focusing on an app that will let you change your white balance, exposure, and aperture. I actually, I loved how you were looking over there. So what did you all think about the iPhone 15 versus the X-T5? Can you take professional photos with the iPhone 15? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more iPhone 15 content, please let me know. I can do some more shots using the other lenses. Now, I do just have a Pro. Apple does not give me this phone, so I don't have the Pro Max to use the 150 mil. But other than that, I'm happy to do some more comparisons and see if an iPhone can actually hold up to a real camera. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.